Hello and welcome to Vox Virtual Orthodontics Case Studies. This is a short demo to demonstrate how to use the uh, software developed by Dr. Jean-Marc Retrouvé and McGill University. First, you should have typed this URL. It's a server for McGill uh, to allow you to get to the login page. So you enter the site and then you have home, cases, quiz results, groups and options and help. You can also log out. Right now, we're going to concentrate on cases. As you can see, there are, in total, as of now, 20 cases in the database. Uh, everyone is, every one of these cases has been assigned a difficulty icon, three being the most difficult, and one would be the most the easiest. We have one right here. By clicking on the bar, you get a different case, as you can see. So let's look at one for now. You could also search the database and you can create different groups. Right now we're into the demo group. So the history of the patient is here, has been written by a professor. The facial examination is here photos, intro alls, dental cast, panoramic x-ray, and cephalometrics. You can always switch to student's view. Let's go there now. So the student, student's view is a bit different. Obviously, it's not a, it's a site that a student or participant will see and has a few interesting features. So the history has been written again. It's there for the student to uh, review. We can have facial examination. And by clicking on a picture, the picture will get bigger and you have a ruler as a tool. You have points that you can position where you want them to be and you can measure distances by using the ruler. So the um, facial, facial photos can be enlarged. You have the intro photos too. Then we give you the dental cast. On the dental cast, there are uh, different features. And this is an electronic bullet gauge that allows you to measure two dimension and record them into your 656 in your um, file. Panoramic is basically the image of the Panorex. You can also add PAs or any other x-rays. And cephalometrics, we will provide you with a table. It can be customized or we can also use a, a link to Dolphin Imaging to have the, the, the student trace the own Ceph. It's available too. And that's pretty much the idea of Vox when it's seen from a student's point of view. So let's go back to cases. For the quiz, I just uh, built a new quiz, you see, for starting September 9th at 9.38, which is when I'm recording. And it will the, qu the quiz will end uh, September 5th at 9.39, it's got 24 hours. It will be a quiz. This would represent a workbook where the student would have to fill in, but is not marked. And I will provide feedback to the students starting the 12th of September, ending the 18th of September. So let's go to student's view. Now you see it's the same view as before, except now the quiz is appearing. So the patient and the patient, sorry, the student now has to select, depending on what he sees, has to select the proper answers, has also to write into the panoramic, into the question 21, we ask them if there are any missing problems. So it's a paragraph type of question. And at the end, they give us a complete diagnosis of the malocclusion and they submit the quiz. 
I can't do it right now because I'm not registered as a student but as a teacher. So that's the quiz part. We all we can also just put a paragraph answer where the student has to fill completely a uh, long term long form of the, the diagnosis. And then I will provide the quiz results, which obviously here are not available because the quiz isn't been done. But every student here has a email address where they will be sent their results for the demo group. Again, we can have an AAO group or any group we want. And we can also provide the answers to the participants to, to for them to review or we don't. So that's a very short um, introduction to Vox. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel, feel free to uh, contact me and I'd be uh, happy to answer any request. This is version one and we're kind of hoping to develop uh, a version two more powerful with the help of a reputable organization. Thank you for your attention.